and welcome to this second C++ tutorial where we'll be looking at how to add components to a C++ class for Unreal Engine 4.16 onwards. So let's get started. In the content browser here we're going to click add new and we're going to add a new C++ class. I am using the C++ basic code pack and so there's no template being used here and I'm going to try and replicate some sort of character that would use from scratch. So I'm going to use pawn and I'm going to call this player pawn. Okay, now if we double click on player pawn this will open up both the header file and the C++ file. By default when you add a C++ class it will only ever add the header file to Visual Studio and won't open the C++ file. So now we're going to learn how to actually add components because originally you could just do things like EU camera component and we'd add the component like that. But unfortunately we can't now. We have to actually add the header files for each individual component we want to use. So we're going to use U property and then we're going to put edit anywhere category equals camera and I'm going to use class u camera component. It's very important to get the component name right. Uh, first person camera. And then we're going to add a capsule u property edit anywhere. You can have visible anywhere instead if you want, which means you can't edit the values in the editor. Edit anywhere means you can. Uh, we'll call this collision. U capsule component. Capsule component. Now we've got these two items set up. We're going to go into our C++ file. And you'll notice that when I do capsule component equals create default sub object. You'll notice that when we bring up the ucapsule component here, it says file player pawn dot h, meaning that's where the class was declared. However, we don't want it to be declared there because that means we don't actually have the class for it. So we use that. And we use text capsule component. But now we need to actually give it a link to what a capsule component is. So we're going to have to include its header file. So we'll do hash include classes forward slash components forward slash capsule component dot h. And then we'll do hash include classes slash camera slash camera component. Make sure it's the component one as components mean it's being added to this class. Now we're going to do root component equals capsule component. So the main item of this actor will be the capsule. And we can do first person camera equals create default sub object u camera component text. first person camera. So this setup is really important. We do our variable name equals create default sub object with using angle brackets and then in there putting in the class type we're wanting to create. Open brackets text, open brackets and then we enter a string and that is what it will be named in its hierarchy. First person camera, we're now going to use an arrow to say hey attach to component root component and then we need a second thing to actually let it be attached. We need these f attachment transform rules. So we'll do f attachment transform rules colon colon uh, keep relative transform. Now to make sure the first person camera is actually in the correct place we're going to also set its world position just before we do that. So we'll set world location 
equal to an f vector, and we open another set of brackets, 0.0f, 0.0f, and then we'll say about 100.0f. So we don't want it anywhere in the x, the y, but we want it to be 100 above uh, the origin point of the capsule component. Now we'll hit save, we'll hit compile, and when we bring in our player pawn, you'll see we now have the capsule component and the first person camera. We can obviously edit this to be like, hey, I want the capsule component to have a set capsule half height of about, I don't know, 96.0f, say a radius capsule component set radius to about 60, save it again, compile it again, now you might need to redrag that in, and now we've got this bigger and rounder capsule, that's a bit more human shaped, maybe a bit too wide though. And that is how you add and edit components in C++ using Unreal Engine 4.16 onwards. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't, leave a comment down below if you want to be, or you can contact me on Twitter, which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97, all links are in the description, and I hope to see you next time, subscribe if you want to see more, thank you, bye.